How you doing, folks? This is Ron Groves from uh, Ron Beers. Uh, I got to show you some tools for some of the guys out there that do all the tool uh, YouTubers for tools and so forth. Uh, what you're looking at is uh, one of my toolboxes, and what I want to show you is a bunch of tools that I had gotten from my father when he passed away, and he had a lot of tools. And the sad thing is, I didn't take many uh, many of the tools. Uh, he had a lot. He had a lot of toolboxes. He did a lot of work. And uh, I wish I'd taken more. Uh, just to show some of the old tools that he had. Uh, and this is them right there. And I will show them when I set up this camera. Uh, let's see now. How we'll do this. Alright, we'll get over here. See if we can... I uh, will scan... I guess this is the workbench. I'm straightening it out now, trying to straighten it out. Everything is in there, and uh, some of the tools I have down this end here, just trying to straighten everything out. Like I say, uh, all right, this is what we have here. And uh, as I'm working on my plumbing in the house here, I'm going to change all the valves and so forth and update all the valves. But, anyways, what I'm here to show you guys. Out of the tools and they'll put them right here be going right on here so this will work out good okay with no further ado let's see uh, these are tools like I say from my father's toolbox he had a lot of toolbox a lot of old tools and every time I went over there we're cleaning out the house to sell it after my mother passed away my dad passed away in 2009 uh, we uh, started cleaning out the house and I'd go over and take a couple of tools like pick up something like this here which I've never had it opens uh, part of the brand name I guess I could clean that up I haven't cleaned this up but it looks like uh, Thomas Smith and Company but that's uh, kind of quite the pliers angle pliers uh, and a couple of these that my dad had. Uh, they're old fashioned. It says auto on it. Uh, this looks like an old fashioned adjustable. I never had seen them like that. Yeah, actually, there was a couple of those that he had. It's another one. Same thing, auto. And um, two of those he had. And one of these here, it's kind of pretty, pretty neat. An angle. I, I don't know if they still make this type of a, a wrench. It's Robinson. It says Robinson on it. And uh, I guess it's ergonomically back then. Uh, and that. It had a lot of uh, the old style drill bits, I don't know what they call that type of wooden bit, though I know that. And, uh, and pliers. We all have these kind of pliers in our toolbox. But this is old. Uh, I should have actually cleaned these up to get some names on them. What companies, manufacturers that had them. Uh, I, don't, I don't really have any like these, these kind of angle. I think they might still make them. I don't know. Um... Uh, so uh, when I saw these, I figured I would, uh, in that one there, I would take them. I wish I had taken a lot more. He had uh, one big toolbox had a lot of stuff in it, a lot. This was old. I mean, this not that old. Uh, this just looks, I think, older than it is. Uh, I imagine. I don't know why it's like that. Uh, if it had a wooden handle, I don't know. Uh, it appears like it would. You see the um, tools that have. Uh, like files and so they're going to a wooden handle. I don't know why. I've never seen anything like that. And there. This here. I don't, again, I, don't, I know this can't be that old. Uh, because of the blue. Fairly new protection for safety. Looks like wire cutters in here. Right in here. Like it's uh, some form of cutter in there. And uh, I don't know again what brand that is. Oh, we got it right here. Channel lock. 
channel lock. I don't feel that 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 old. And if you remember these, the little screwdrivers, and you open it up, you don't see them in the market anymore. And then, then there's another screwdriver. You open that up. You got a little screwdriver. Probably good for fixing the little screws on your glasses, on your eyeglasses when they loosen up. But, uh, yeah, a lot of this kind of stuff in this toolbox, and I didn't have yeah, a lot of stuff like this from, geez, from the 50s, probably the 40s, and so forth. And I just, I don't know, I just didn't take them. This is, you know, these are around still. Uh, and I'm just comparing this one. This is a crescent wrench, and uh, they call this a best tool. Best Tuloy, best Tuloy, if you can see that. But, uh, I have one, and this is a, gr a crescent. It doesn't have the words in the back. It says Crest Tuloy. Huh? Maybe they're kind of the, not too old as far as this one. Uh, just looks it again. Uh, naturally, uh, that's just an old, rusted. Uh, I've got to work on these and see them blast them. That was in there. I know this isn't an old tool, it just something goes on the ratchet, and then and there's a 12 point, it goes on the ratchet, 3 8 ratchet, and uh, I guess you can just, I uh, don't know why that's on there, and uh, right there, and this here, I know that's got to be old, you don't see glass cutters look like this anymore. I'm gonna to have to clean up all these tools, and there must be some manufacturer's names on. Yeah, there is one. There is a manufacturer's name in here, matter of fact. And, uh, and uh, you don't see <laughs> you don't see the glass cutters like that anymore. And then, uh, oh, that was this old, old. Uh, and this is a crescent tool company. He says there, and uh, drop forged steel, a 12 inch. Made in USA, you don't see much of that made in USA anymore. All the stuff like Pittsburgh and Hurricane, all that stuff from Harbor Freight, made in China. And uh, I had a couple more. I have them out. I have uh, a couple of workbenches. I actually have three workbenches. And uh, the other ones are outside of my outside workbench. I have one in my shed, which I can't get at. I get so packed in there. Uh, but this is what I, what I have. I wanted to show you. And... Uh, kind of nice to uh, see tools, see old tools and what they were like back then, probably the 50s or 60s. Alright, uh, try to scan. Uh, if I can move this a little bit. Oh, let me come back this way here. And uh, Alright, so this is the tool I wanted to show you, the old tools. Uh, at any time, like I say, you can... Uh, Pause it and uh, and just watch with the rod there for tools. So, that, with that said, um, you all have a good day today. Today's Friday, the weekend is starting tomorrow. Enjoy the night. Friday nights is a nice night for everything. Uh, we don't really uh, go to the movies much anymore because we don't like what they have out there. But Friday nights, it's a nice time to get with the family and visiting friends and uh, going out to eat. Uh, well, anyways, with that said, fall is coming. Autumn is surely in bloom here in New England. Uh, the weather's uh, temperatures are dropping down. It was in the uh, mid-40s this morning. Sun is out, so it's gone up. Well, with that said, have a good day, folks. Ciao.